the bundle of the year for me, the bundle of my reselling career probably, this was a $400 bundle with 13 items. Everybody, it's Nina Beachfront Bargains. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am an online reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Amazon. If you are new, make sure to subscribe down below. I do what sold videos, haul videos, and tips and tricks for reselling. So today's video is going to be similar to my previous video. If you saw that, if you didn't see that, I will put a card up here. Um, it's going to be a monthly what sold video. For July. The previous video was for eBay and this video is going to be for Poshmark. So it's just going to highlight some of my favorite sales and some of the sales I just want to show you guys for the month of July on Poshmark specifically this time. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I will say that I sold the craziest bundle I've ever sold ever this month. So <laughs> that's coming up in a minute because it was very early in the month. I still can't believe it, but I posted about it on Instagram, so if you follow me on there, you might know, but just, just wait for that. It's, I still can't believe I sold this bundle. Okay, so the first thing that sold is a Lululemon shirt. Um, this was a Swiftly shirt, um, just pink short sleeve, and this sold for $31. Um, this sold pretty quickly, too, and it got a decent amount of interest um, on eBay as well, but I took an offer of $31. Okay, the next thing that sold was a free people dress. This was new with tags. It was white, um, like lace, and it had an open back detailing. Super, super pretty. Um, it sold for 35. I think I had it listed at about 60 or 70, but I kept getting offers around this price range. So um, eventually I just accepted an offer of $35. Okay, buckle up. Here comes the bundle of the year for me. The bundle of my reselling career, probably, this was a $400 bundle with 13 items. What? Um, <laughs> so this person had actually liked a bunch of items in my closet and I was like, oh, they're never going to buy anything because some people do that. They just, you know, browse and don't buy anything. And um, we were actually in Jamaica when this happened and they sent me an offer, but I realized well, I went and I double checked on eBay to make sure I hadn't sold any of those items on eBay. And I realized that one of the items in the bundle had already sold on eBay and I hadn't removed it from Poshmark yet. So I could not accept their offer and it was such a great offer. So I sent her a message and I was like, hi, I'm so sorry. One of those items has already sold. Um, would you be interested in the bundle if I remove that item? And I was fully expecting her to just ignore me and be like, you know what? by lady but she got back to me super quickly it was like yeah that's fine and then um she sent me an offer and it, it was a really good offer it was like I think it was like four hundred ten dollars um and the value of the bundle was like four hundred and thirty dollars <laughs> and I went to accept it and then there was a payment issue so second time my heart's been broken in this bundle I was like oh god this is definitely not going through um so I sent her a message and I was like, hi, I tried to accept, but there was a payment issue. Um, and she actually told me that she was out of the country too. So she thinks that's why the payment wasn't going through, which, which does make sense. And um, I said, oh, okay. She said, I'll be back tomorrow and I'll accept it. And she literally did. Within 24 hours, she accepted the offer. It ended up going for $400 with free shipping. And like I said, the value of the bundle was about $430. So really not much of a discount at all. Um, so <laughs> most of these items went for full price, which is just insane. And I did get a five-star <laughs> rating and I got my money for it. And she actually came back to my closet and purchased another item. So still shocked, but I think it's possible when you have a large closet with a large amount of items and variety, um, and sizes to get a buyer like this because she was able to come in and get a bunch of items in her size um, from a bunch of different brands, which is a very unique experience, you think, for a shopper because, you know, if I want to go buy a bunch of clothes, which 
I think a lot of people when we shop, we, we shop, you know, we're not just buying one or two things. At least when I'm shopping, I'm going to get, I don't shop often. When I do, I'm going to get quite a few pieces. But to think that you can come on Poshmark and you can get pieces from different brands all at the same time in one seamless experience is super cool. Like she was buying all kinds of different brands, Brandy Melville, J. Crew, Altered State, Frame, Abercrombie, Fossil, Victoria's Secret, Free People, like all these different brands. She was able to buy them all at once in one experience. That's a really cool thing for a consumer. So it's another great aspect of buying used clothing online is you can buy multiple brands at once. So I'm going to quickly go through everything that's in the bundle. Um, like I said, it was three, no, it was 13 items. Um, so the first item was a American Eagle tank top. Um, and this was just like a braided, I think it was a soft and sexy tank top. And that was worth $25. So I'm just gonna say what they're worth because the bundle really only sold for 30 under. So it's basically like she got one item free, I would say is the best way to put it. Um, next is a Brandy Melville um, little button up tie front. Um, and the price on that was $25. Um, next is a pair of pants, and these are Ivy and Maine, and these are floral print flare, like tribal boho pants, and those were $25. Most of the items in this bundle were $20 to $30 in that range, except like one or two. Next is a pair of Abercrombie and Fitch shorts, and these were just pink and white striped, um, and the value on these was $30. And she got a variety of things. She got tops, shorts, all kinds of stuff. Some used, new with tag. Um, she really got a lot of good things, so good for her. Um, next is a fossil tank top, um, which is like a light pinkish orange. Um, Henley style tank top, and this sold for 30, or the, the value was 30. Okay, next is a Abercrombie and Fitch shirt. Um, this was just a v-neck long sleeve black top. And the price on this one was $30. And next is a loft tank top. Um, this was like a metallic -y silver lace tank top, and that sold for $20. Um, next is just a free people like basic red and white striped cropped tank top. Um, and the price on that one was $20. Um, next is a Victoria's Secret top, and the price on this one was $30. Like I said, almost everything in here is $20 to $30, it seems like. Okay, next is um, American Eagle again, and this is a green just pocket t-shirt, and the price on this was $20. Okay, next is a Free People tank top. I think it's Free People Beach. Yeah, Free People Beach tank top. Um, just like a little swing tank top and the price on that one was $25. Um, next is a pair of J. Crew shorts, uh, like this circle print, I guess you would call it. Um, and the price on these were $35. Okay, next is an altered state, um, like twist front top, kind of like a distressed look, look to it. And the price on this was $30. Okay, next is a loft tank top. Actually, this is the last item in here. It's a loft tank top for $25. So yeah, that was an amazing bundle. <laughs> I'm still shocked by it, and it was like a month ago, but I ended up working out. So <laughs> now I know, you know, I usually get frustrated when people like a bunch of items in my closet because most times I don't buy, but occasionally someone's gonna come by and snag $400 worth of items from your closet. And that's amazing. So <laughs> I'm not annoyed with those people anymore. I say like away. One of you will buy eventually. All right. So that's the highlight <laughs> of July for me. So, okay. Next on to just some underwhelming sales compared to that bundle, but <laughs> it's still all good. Um, so next is a Lululemon crew neck. Well, it wasn't really a crew neck um, sweater. It's like this geometric lining on it. Like I don't know how to describe this, but it was really cute. Um, it sold for $35. I almost kept this, but then I remembered it's Florida. I don't wear a lot of sweaters. So that sold for $35. I had it listed a little higher, but ended up accepting an offer. 
Um, next is a free people top. It's just like a, a shirt with them. It had like the tie sleeves on it. And this sold for $25. Okay, next is another free people top. And this was actually purchased by the person who bought that $400 bundle. So she came back and I was actually sending offers to Likers and items in my closet and she accepted an offer on this item and she bought this free people top for $32. So that's amazing <laughs> that she came back and it was within like two weeks. So she's my new favorite customer. Okay, next is a locked dress. This was a pink dress with bell sleeves on it. Um, it sold for $25. I think I could have waited and got it a little gotten a little more for this, but I let it go at $25. Um, next is a free people top. And I got this actually from Nordstrom Rack last year, back when I thought I was really good at sourcing from Nordstrom Rack. <laughs> yeah, um, but I picked up a couple of these for pretty cheap, but this sold for $27, just like a little ruffly plain black top. Okay, next is a pair of free people shorts. They're just white um, high-waisted shorts and they're like cutoffs and pretty distressed at the bottom. And they sold for $40 and they were new with tag. Um, I said this in my eBay video, but I've noticed a lot of white clothing selling in July and it's, it's August now and I've seen the same trend. So um, I think it's, if you have that stuff listed, that's good. If not, get it listed ASAP because once fall comes white clothing, especially white shorts and pants are not gonna be as popular. Okay, next is a pair of BDG jeans, um, skinny jeans, and that's uh, blue color. The jeans obviously still look blue. Um, and these sold for $40. Okay, next is a Gal Meets Glam dress, and this sold for $75, um, which is a great, great sale. Um, Gal Meets Glam is a, is a really good brand, and it sells for a decent amount. This took a little while to sell, but um, I think I had the price of like 125, but I accepted an offer of 75. Okay, and last, yeah, last is a Diane Von Furstenberg top, um, and this was like a cold shoulder and had like a metallic -y animal print to it, and this sold for $50. I think I had it listed at 75, and I accepted an offer of 50. Diane does wonders for me. She usually sells pretty fast and for a high amount, so I was excited to see this move so quickly. So that is it for July. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you haven't, check out my eBay video for July as well. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. Thank you. Bye.